I like to take these leftover kitty litter boxes and repurpose them with just a simple label and put on some of the products that I like to use for the garden because they're light enough to carry back and forth, easy enough to handle, and being square, they really store close together. So this one is called Color Star, and what I like to do is just barely apply some to the prepared bed area and give this new four inch color that we're about to plant something to grow on, something nutrition wise to really give it the most color that we possibly can. This uh, next product Gustavo is going to apply is the MicroLife and it is an all organic fertilizer also. What it does is it makes the soil healthy and gives a real uh, sustenance to the organisms that are already in the soil and helps them have something to go on. Then the soil is alive and then the plants really respond and give the most color that they possibly can. So what we'll do now, we've applied some fertilizer and uh, color star. I'm going to put a little bit of bone meal in, which is really good for the winter planting. And it's really just crushed animal bones. Then we're going to apply the mulch. So let's go ahead and get the mulch and just sort of help me by handful. Okay. And we'll apply to this bed edge first. And we're going to bank in and sort of cover the edge right at the grass line. We've cut a sharp edge right against the grass and the lifted bed. We have a sort of like a pillow top bed. We're just going to coat the whole area, sort of anchoring in our fertilizers and color star with mulch. We're going to plant the color then through the mulch and we'll have A situation where we won't have any mulch on the plant leaves because we'll just be passing right through the mulch into the prepared soil. So what's going to happen here is here are some cut back lantana from the previous season. Here's a hydrangea from the previous season, a little bit of pentas, and some blue liberty salvia. These things are left over from the summer, so I'm not going to pull them up. I want to keep them in place because as I plant this winter delphinium, this is going to still exist. The delphinium will grow as this starts to die back or even freeze as the pinches may be concerned. The delphinium will start to grow and flourish, become tall spikes and present their color. So well, if you'll take these and just uh, pull them out of the container, hand them to mm -hmm. me and I'll start planting. This, uh, Delphinium is going to be planted pretty closely. Take a little pocket, tuck in, and just sort of anchor the mulch back. Force in a little pocket, anchor the mulch back. So it's going to go pretty quickly here. So as you can see, some of the delphinium are already starting to send up the bloom spike. Others are more in the rosette form or like the pre-season plant position. It really takes two seasons for delphinium. It needs a, a first season of a sort of rosette uh, vegetative leaf growth, and then the second season in the spring where they send up the bloom spike. In Texas, delphinium is best planted in the winter and then enjoyed in flower, flower spike all through the early spring because it really does not like the heat. So what we're doing is, with it being as warm as it, as it is in our Texas winter, we're getting a little bit of a mock spring out of our fall and winter. So we're sort of tricking the plant. In the Northeast, this plant would be planted early in the spring. We we'll never have to do this sort of double season tricking. So really, tightly planted like this, if you can imagine all these spikes of blue coming out, it's gonna be a really pretty presentation come early to mid spring. Now through the season and later this season, I'll plant some other materials up underneath and tuck up the edge with maybe some brighter colors. I always like to overlayer what's left over from the previous season, add a few things to it and then come in a month or so later and tuck in another thing and just keep the cycle rolling where nothing really goes out and the bed never has to completely change over. Just like we're planting through these cut back lantana that are discussed. 
the uh, delphinium is just going to be right above it. There we go. So there's one flat, which is 20 pieces of delphinium. That's going to make an amazing display. What I'll probably do is I'll move to another area and even another area later, maybe a month from now, plant another stand of delphinium. And what I'll have is I'll have this one coming on and then later next spring, that one coming on and I'll have just a really beautiful presentation that doesn't happen all at once. So that's it. Planted some delphinium that we will enjoy, not today, but several months from now. Thank you.